India's second indigenous nuclear submarine is likely to be launched in less than a month's time, towards the end of September or the beginning of October, government sources said. Launching of a boat refers to the process of transferring the vessel to the water from a dry dock. Once launched, the boat will undergo extensive sea trials before it is inducted in the Indian Navy sometime in 2019. The launch is likely to be done by Defence Minister Nirmala Sithraman in keeping with the tradition that a boat is launched by a woman. The first indigenous nuclear submarine, INS Aryant, was launched in 2009 by former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh's wife, Gershran Kaur. INS Aryant was quietly inducted in the Indian Navy in August 2016. It was the first nuclear attack submarine built by a country other than one of the five permanent members of the United Nations Security Council. Being built under the Advanced Technology Vessel ATV, project at the Shipbuilding Centre in Visakhapatnam, the second boat, Aradaman, will have double the number of missile hatches than its predecessor. It will also be powered by a more powerful reactor than INS Ari and 83 MW pressurized light water reactor. Aradaman will have a seven-blade propeller powered by a pressurized water reactor and can achieve speed up to 12-15 knots on surface and 24 knots underwater. It has eight vertical launch tubes and can carry up to 24 indigenously developed K-15, Sagarika, missiles or eight K-4 missiles. The K-15 has a range of 750 km while the K-4 has a range of 3,500 km. INS Ari Ant has four vertical launch tubes and can carry 12 K-15 missiles or four K-4 missiles. The K-4 missile was developed as the Agni-3 missile could not be deployed on INS Ari Ant due to space constraints.